Hello, friends, and welcome to the crux of the matter. I'm Father Wade Menezes of the Fathers of Mercy. In Catholic teaching, the communion of saints has two closely linked meanings, the communion existent in holy things and the communion existent among holy persons. These two distinct categories constitute the doctrine of the communion of saints and are intimately linked together. In regard to holy things, the Church refers to the whole communion of spiritual goods within the Church founded by Jesus Christ and which are readily made available to her faithful members. These include a communion in the faith, a communion of the sacraments, a communion of shared charisms granted by the Holy Spirit for the building up of the Church, the sharing of material goods in common, and a communion rooted in charity. Among these and others, the Eucharist deserves special mention, for it is by the Eucharist, to quote the Second Vatican Council, that the unity of believers who form one body in Christ is both represented and brought about. In regard to holy persons, the three states of the Church comprise the communion of saints, the members of the Church triumphant in heaven, the members of the Church suffering in purgatory who are assured heaven after their time of purification, and the members of the Church militant on earth. Paragraph number 1475 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church states, In the communion of saints, a perennial link of charity exists between the faithful who have already reached their heavenly home, those who are expiating their sins in purgatory, and those who are still pilgrims on earth. To sum up then, we believe in the communion of all the faithful of Christ, those who are pilgrims on earth, the dead who are being purified, and the blessed in heaven, all together forming one church. And we believe that in this communion, the merciful love of God and his saints is always attentive to our prayers. That's the crux of the matter. Thanks for watching EWTN.